Jacob Hamlin Arch, one of the best hikes in Utah. It's a full day hike with adrenaline filled rappelling, miles of off-roading, jumping over creek beds, and walking through gigantic arches. Come join us for this magnificent hike into a world that few see. Just woke up a little bit ago in Escalante, and now we're going to... We're going to go hike uh, Hamlin Arch. We have to take a 35 mile, uh, pretty smooth dirt ride road to the trailhead. I get to climb for the first time. I'm kind of excited, and I just was telling her I'm going to be sore tomorrow. We have uh, 200 feet of rope, and it's about a 45 degree pitch that we have to rappel down. Not too bad, you can do it. You can do it without the rope, but I'd rather have the rope than not. Safety first. Are you excited? Yeah. You want video? <laughs> if you gotta warm it, I gotta like hold it or something. Bill, I'm a photographer. You, you should always be ready. <laughs> yeah, with you, I know this. <laughs> We're so ready. We just got done with the, I don't know, 35 mile dirt road. It took us like an hour-ish. Yeah, we, we made pretty good time with the Raptor. Uh, but we're out here in the middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere, Escalante. The parking for Jacob Hamlin Arch is near a water tank. You drive on a hole in the rock road for an hour and a half. It's a 45 mile dirt road to get to the water tank from the small town of Escalante. There is a posted 35 mile per hour sign on the dirt road, so be sure to watch your speed. Once you get closer to the end of the drive, you will turn on the east side of the road called BLM 270 40 Mile Ridge Road. Take this road for about another five miles and you will arrive at the water tank. The full loop for the hike is 16.8 miles. We are only hiking down to Jacob Hamlin Arch and hiking back the way we came. This smaller hike is about five miles and 800 feet in elevation gain. There is a repelling portion at a 45 degree angle. Please be sure to bring your own rope and safety gear. Please follow our lovely floating heads. You will hike around the first mountain to the left. Trek through sand, up and down tiny little hills, then drop in elevation and arrive at the repellent spot. We just started the hike down to Jacob Hamblin Arch from uh, the water tank. We have to hike about 2.5 miles to get to the place where we rappel down 200 feet to get to the arches. Uh, so there's about yeah, two miles of the sand, rock formations that we have to hike on. We had to buy a 200 foot rope and she's back there complaining how heavy it is in her backpack. Is it heavy? Nothing I can't handle. 
Okay, perfect. We're gonna drop a few hundred feet. We're gonna start heading down to the canyon. You can see right behind me, you can see uh, how the creek kind of winds through the rocks. And then we have to repel a little bit. Here we are on a whole other planet. Looks like a planet Mars. Yeah. It's very beautiful. My man is, of course, like 40 yards away from me. I tell him to stay by me, but you know, he's his own man. And that builds character within me to be alone back here. I'm gonna have to go catch up to him now. Cause I really don't like being alone. Babe, I feel like we're on a trail to nowhere. Trail to nowhere. We're going somewhere. At least he knows where we're going. Gotta trust my man, cause I'm looking out, and I would get lost out here. No one would know where Cass went. Now you see where we're going. We're going down there. Oh, well, I'm all right. Not too far off in the distance. Let's go, boo. So we're gonna rappel down to Coyote Gulch. So gorgeous. Time to rappel. How are you feeling? Terrifying. Look at how steep that is. It'll be okay. We got the rope. We're good. It's going down there. Just a little bit. 200 feet. No big. No big deal. No, no big deal. No big.
That's, that's my girlfriend. That's my girlfriend doing death-defying acts of amazingness. You got this. She signed up for this when we met on Hinge. Did you know I was an adventure person? Yeah, God has a funny way of bringing things into my own. Okay. And we survived. We made it down this big decline section right there. Yeah. About 250 feet. Our rip only went 200 feet. I had to keep saying, I think I can, I think I can the whole time. So scared. And we did it. We did it. Right? We just can't show my mom. Yeah. But we will. She has to see it on YouTube though. I'm gonna get grounded. If you like adventuring as much as we do, feel free to like and subscribe to see more weekly adventure videos in the future. Your support matters tremendously to us and it will help us be able to provide more amazing videos to you. We made it down. I don't want to leave. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I made bagel ham sandwiches. Cheers. He's the master at packing food and Cheers. making it good. Cheers. Cheers. You gotta hear this echo.
walk like I own the place. Follow me. Absolutely filthy. But that's Look what happens this. when you hike. Look at this. <sighs> Look at that shoe. Someone caked on mud right there. I feel like our feet are gonna get wet if we cross this. We did a little hiking down here and we're going to head back up and go back up the rope. Yeah, the rope. Once again, I have to conquer that. Yay. That's you have fun in the mud? Like a little kid in the mud. That was absolutely stunning. Stunning. It's on the top of my list of things we've seen so far. Now we're heading back up. Yes, up, we are heading up, up, up. Keep up. climbing up. Keep climbing up. 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 Keep climbing up. I'm gonna 30 reds. <laughs> 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 and bananas. I have the world's best boyfriend in the whole universe. When girlfriend struggles, boyfriend, take over her back. Boyfriend took over my backpack. I'm truly blessed by the best. Hashtag beast mode. <laughs> you are my beast. Thank you, baby. You gotta love the uphill. How you doing back there? Struggle bus. We're making it though. We're only halfway to the car. When the going gets tough, you have to find shade somehow. Yeah, it's hot. Just walking through the desert of Escalante. 
I'm trying to stay cool. Stay cool. It's only like 65 degrees, but it feels like 100 going uphill. And we did it. She's speechless. And we did it. We did it. I look back at that and I'm like, there's no way. There's no way. Our feet are hurting. Frankie, we're, we're starving. So I have an hour and a bumpy road. Just like seven miles. But it was exhilarating, right? So exhilarating. You said you were proud of me. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Good job. We're gonna head back to our hotel room and we're gonna cook up some pizza, some grub, ice cream. Ice cream. We're gonna chow down after all the thousand calories we just burned. We just got back to the crib. <laughs> what, what's, uh, Chef Cass, what's on the menu? Oh my gosh. <laughs> we shouldn't have gone to the store hungry. We did scalloped potatoes, which is one of my favorites. And then we did barbecue wings and pizza. You think that's, that's a that's favorite too, of the pizza? You think that's pie. too much for two people? The pie, the 3.14. Mm. <laughs> I don't think so. No, we're gonna, we're gonna devour it. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get some gains here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe to our adventure channel to see more weekly hiking video guides.